Okay, wow, what the heck am I doing? It's Saturday night at 8.30 Pacific. It's super late. I was watching the Stanley Cup Finals and I thought, I don't know. Let's do some hockey. And then four hours later, you guys filled it. So here I am. <laughs> SP Authentic, a full master case. It's going to take six hours. So settle in, relax, and enjoy. Here's your teams. He's got the number one pick. Vancouver Canucks. He's looking for a Brock Besser. Ziggy's back. Hippie got third pick. The Donald. I'm just looking at Boba Fett. Me got in. El Nino. Jules got her flames. Yeah, grab a drink or bottle. Okay. Wait, did we verify that it's off? What am I off the wagon or I'm on? I'm off the wagon. That's a good thing. Man, that just doesn't sound right. Maybe I was thinking of off the reservation. I don't know. Back to the lanes at 8 a.m. Hippie, is Hippie listening? Maybe not. On the wagon is not drinking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Off the wagon is when you start drinking again. What is the on? What are people doing on the wagon? Just you're just riding on a wagon, totally sober. That sounds so boring. I thought it was like the drunk wagon, where they like carry all the drunks off or something. I don't know. Well, I was gonna tell Hippie that I have a case of. Ice, 10 box case of ice, I'll draft it up to post because. Um, I thought this one might fill a little bit faster than three hours, and then maybe we could even do some ice, but I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling Hippie that just to torture him, but it's the thought that counts, really. Okay, so where do I get the wagon? I don't even have a wagon. <laughs> Maybe that's the step I'm missing. I don't have a wagon to start with, so I don't think I can be neither on or off this invisible. I'll look for a wagon dealership tomorrow. Bing, 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 Hold on. All right, let's just have a sweet case of SP Authentic tonight for all you fine people. I'm going to do the base of it. I'm going to hold on. Try a new side. I'm going to try something wild. Oh, okay. Pesha. There's a Young Guns. You guys told me that there's no real big Young Guns to worry about, huh? No, you know what? I've been having to store these extra. Look at that. The first hit is a Sidney Crosby sign of the times. Davis. Jeez. Off to a hot start. Everybody loves Sidney Crosby. There's one sports superstar that everybody agrees that they love, don't they? Nice. On card and everything. 
I'm gonna be tickling or nothing. Oh, that was sloppy. Sloppy Joe, slap, sloppy Joe. Victor Hedman, that's a red one. It was all important short prints. Probably only a couple hundred thousand of them made. Look, there's another one. Make sure you guys get your short prints. <sighs> I've gotten rid of the random BS. Next step is base. When do I? When can I just get rid of all base? No more base. You're gonna log in on the website and it'll say new base rule: all base is destroyed instantly after a break. Sherback, future watch for the Canadians. Jafer. Base cards. Good people on your base cards. Although Bowman Chrome is different. There will be a fire of a bonfire on the table of all base cards immediately after each break. Cindy Crosby Spectrum. I hate base. There's literally no base card I want ever. Kevin, is it Wah like the other Wah? Might be Kevin Roy. Let's just call him Kevin Roy. Level one. Taylor Hall, retro -y thingy. You know what the base cards are doing? It's just gonna. What it's going to do one day is those, all those people will be coming to my shop 10 years later trying to sell me that base. Somehow it'll get to them. They'll buy it from you guys online. They'll sit on them for 10 years and be like, hey, I have some <laughs> digital cards. Digital pimp hard at work. Strom. I just can't wait for a couple more years when the prices of shipping just keep going up, doubling and tripling. At some point, there'll just be no, nothing left. Small flat rate will be like twenty-five dollars. Did you know, Matt, back in the old days, in 2012, I used to ship packages for like $1.39. Just those little envelopes. Might have been $1.29. Let's Mrazic. Now it's what, like $3 or something? Riley Barber for the Capitals, Future Watch Auto. It was so cheap. Small flat rate. Small flat rates were like three twenty-five or something. Now they're like six dollars. Damn inflation! Yeah, just in the last few months or whatever. Eric Carlson. Austin Matthews, short print. Dark hair and swagger. That's all. What more could a woman ask for? Dark hair and swagger. That's all Jules is looking for. Peter Schlerich for the Bruins. That's inscribed. 2 11 17. 
for $9.99. The Donald, nice one. Did you guys say the inscribed ones are numbered are uh, short printed to what was it? 25 or You know what's scary? What if we're living in the good days right now? We don't even know it. I got two little kids at home. Still relatively young. This might be the best days right now. <laughs> Nick Bonino. Ten years from now, I'll be like, oh man, I miss when my kids were little. They were so cute. Kids will all be on drugs and bailed out of school. Criminals. Shaleric? No, I don't mind. Corrections. Go ahead, feel free to tell me how to say these crazy hockey players' names. I don't take it I don't take offense. William Carlson, Vegas. No one will be in some street gang. Still, <laughs> still living at home. Wait, did I tell you guys that when my dad? Oh man, this is a good one. Oh man, I must have missed that. Capo Bianco to nine ninety nine. When I was uh, like eighteen, this is one of the funniest things to me. It won't be funny to you. You don't really know my upbringing and how it was, but let's just say when I was a teenager, all I was counting down the minutes until I could get out of my parents' house. Samuel Gerard, maybe. Future Watch. They weren't like abusive or anything. I just hated living at home because they wouldn't let me do anything. And I couldn't wait to move out, go off to college somewhere, anywhere, but there. Because, you know, I'm kind of an independent person. Say what you will about me, Jules, but... A, I love being alone by myself, away from other people. And B, I don't like anyone telling me what to do ever. So imagine that, plus being 18 years old with all the, you know... 18 year olds cockiness know it all even worse than I am now and I had two super strict parents they were loving pretty fair but very strict I didn't get to let me give you some examples they didn't let me get my license when I was 16 I couldn't get my license till I was 18 never got to go to any high school party type stuff in fact it was either junior prom or senior ball I went to a thing after the, like a little party after it. My mom found out where it was and came and picked me up in front of everybody. Pulled me out by my ear. That was how my, that was my upbringing. So anyway, here I am, 18, getting ready to move out. Hopefully, can't wait, counting down the minutes. And, uh, oh, Alex Tuck to 9 dollars Vegas. Boba Fett me on the board. My dad came over to me and he was like, so my dad built our house and he had built like this side, little side house mini, we called it the apartment. It's like a one bedroom little add on for his mom who lived with us for several years before she went crazy and we had a gigantic family fight and she left um, so there was kind of this empty side part of the house and my dad came and talked to me and he was like I just wanted to make it clear that um, once you graduate high school you're not going to be living with us anymore out you're not going to move into that house out there and just live off of us for the rest of your life and I was like Okay, <laughs> it's like that. That is the last thing on earth that you have to worry about. 
The minute I can get out of this hellhole, I'm going to be burning rubber down the driveway, flipping everybody off. I'll never forget that. I was like, Dude, or what planet? It was like we were living on different planets. Somehow he thought I was going to graduate college or graduate high school and try to live with them on the side of the house for the rest of my life. Brock Besser. I have no idea where he got that idea. Actually, I do. Come to find out that's what he did when he was when he graduated. Samuel Girard to 999. Hulk, your avalanche. The thought of that to this day still is like, I can't even imagine anything worse than that. Living with my parents after I graduated in a house on the side of their house. What the heck was he thinking? Marcus Johansson. Of course, my dad had plenty of great lines. One of his other ones was when I was out in my, out in the den playing video games and he came out and said, I need you to dig a hole where the dog used to live. And I said, uh, Logan Brown to 9.99. I said, oh, what? Like, I need you to go out there and dig a hole where the dog used to live. I said, oh, you mean the dog died? <clears throat> you could just come tell me that the dog died. John Gillies. That's you, Jules. You, you got a Gillies. That was my dad's way of telling me that our family dog that we all loved that lived to be, I don't know, 12 or 13 years old that I had since I was a young child had died. Go dig a hole where the dog used to live. <sighs> Whoa, my mom calls it the little house. Weird. Have you been talking to my mom? Colby Cave Young Guns. Oh, I did. I dug a hole where the dog used to live, and I put the dog in there. Country. I lived in the country, Jules. That's what we do in the country. Don't tell me none of you guys have dug a hole where your dog used to live and put the dog in there. Tuka Rask. Well, now you're getting some insight on uh, how I turned out to be how I am right now. <clears throat> the miserable SOB that I am these days. Anyway, I escaped that hellhole. And everything's fine now. I'm sure it's very similar to a lot of your guys' experience with your fathers. Mario Lemieux. Show of hands, who's had to dig a hole where their dog used to live? Am I the only one? So, I should probably have that same talk with Nolan when he's 18. Tell him that he can't live in the west wing of the mansion. No, they're not old enough yet. Casey DeSmith Young Guns. The key, Brian, to... If you want to be married and you're like Brian and I and you hate everybody and you don't... Whatever. There are women who will marry you and will let you do almost whatever you want to do. William Nylander. That's all you got to find. And they'll leave you alone. <clears throat> Rick Nash. <laughs> uh, Clayton Keller, Future Watch. Egbert, your coyotes. You had to shoot your own dog? Ugh. Well, we all have our own dogs, don't we? I've got a 13-year-old dog and a 10-year-old dog, so the day's coming. 
That's just part of having a dog. It's just the circle of life. You know, like Lion King. Sometimes your dad gets trampled by hyenas or whatever. Or good. What are they? Not hyenas. What does the dad get trampled by? Giselles? No. Yeah, the hyenas make the Giselles. <clears throat> Saturday night uplifting late night breaks. Anyway, uh, I'm not letting my son live at home or my daughter live at home. They will be out on the street. That lesson from my father, I, I agree with it. I just don't know why he told me that, but I totally support what he was thinking, which is don't let your kids live at home. Ever, even even now, I should probably tell him to find some place to live. Walmart. And Amadio for the Kings to nine ninety nine. Ziggy's on the board. Now, I mean, if truth be told, I totally did have to stay at home for an extra year. I didn't want to, but I went to the junior college up there. So, God, I didn't want to. I tried to go to uh, Santa Cruz, and I couldn't couldn't get in the college and I was like cool I have to stay home and my girlfriend stayed there so so the sad part of the story is I totally did stay at home for another year might not have been a full year but then I went to Sacramento Jamie Ben I guess if your kid is going to college nearby they can stay at home a little bit longer back home during my college breaks <clears throat> some of the most fun and lonely times of my life were in college when it was summer break and all my friends would go back home to work their construction jobs with their dads up where I'm from and I would just be in my apartment in Sacramento doing nothing I played so many hours of video games by myself <laughs> all by myself actually it was awesome My favorite game during those years was uh, SSX for PS. Was it PS2? Remember that snowboarding game? SSX snowboarding game on PlayStation 2. Game ruled. Why don't they make those games? There's no snowboarding games anymore. Carter Rowney for the Penguins. Future Watch. Me too, Doc. It's the best. Nathan Walker for the Capitals to nine ninety nine. Tim on the board. I think this, that's why this works for me, because I can't hear any of you guys. Like, I can see what you're writing, but there's no noise, so it's like I'm alone. It's all the best parts of being alone, namely silence. No smells or noises. And yet you're still here, and you're making jokes and responding to me. Perfect. This is really perfect. Casey DeSmith, Young Guns. Yeah, I hate people's smells. Don't even get me started, Jules. 
I'm not talking about like BO or anything like that. I'm just, I mean like perfume. Perfume and cologne is the worst invention of all time. I would rather smell someone's BO than their disgusting garbage perfume and cologne. God. Ugh, it's disgusting. And their Axe body spray. That's totally not getting them any chicks. <laughs> yeah. Omni was drenched in cologne with his slick back hair. His gold chains. I was like, are you sure you're from Wisconsin and not New Jersey? Uh, Ryan Kessler. Limited auto materials for the Ducks. Richie. It's not a rookie. No, he's not. Yeah, he's Italian. <laughs> I really lay into the cologne. I'm serious. I think I, there's something... Kucherov. I have some sort of weird thing about cologne and perfume. Like it's a physical reaction to it. It's not like I just find it irritating. It, it gets into my soul. It's awful. Thankfully, they're starting to recognize that in some places. You notice some places they'll have the sign that's like, please don't wear perfume and cologne because it bothers people. That's That needs to be everywhere. This stuff is disgusting. There must be some chemical that they use in a lot of them. I have some allergy to it or something. I don't know. Pomneville. No, there's nothing worse than cologne. I would, I would literally rather smell a pile of, you know what. David Camp, of name anything, than any cologne or perfume. Who does that work on, by the way? Are there women and or men out there that are like, oh God, I love his or her perfume. That's, I really, you know, I didn't, I never really noticed that person until they started wearing this disgusting smelling chemical and now, super attractive. I guess there must be there must be some people otherwise how would it even work no one would wear it it must work Roland McCown for the Hurricanes what a negative what a negative Saturday night break chat I'm sorry it's just all complaining and sad depressing stories Jules it's not what you came here for you came here for my positive sunshine, always looking on the bright side. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jake Gensel, limited autograph. Thing's gorgeous. Look at the Penguins. Davis getting some nice cards. Anyway, what can we talk about that rules? Exactly. Women smell great. They just smell good naturally. And I'm sure men smell great to women naturally. Just let, just come as you are. We're friggin' animals. Just let your animal smell do its thing. God, stupid animals. 
We're all just a bunch of stupid animals. Barely able to walk upright. Just come as you are. I mean, maybe brush your teeth. Put some deodorant on. <clears throat> I guess that's acceptable. Clean out your ears. Let's keep it real. Yep, never stopped. Colby Cave, Young Guns. <laughs> this Sunday, just go out for some good old-fashioned top-of-the-head smelling. No one will mind. I do love the smell of a fresh baby. That's one thing you miss out on not having kids. Brian and Jules and anyone else who's not planning on having kids. A fresh baby smells delicious. Leon Dreisaitl. Oh, it's like double stamped. You can't double stamp a triple spectrum stamp. Yeah, it's not the same when it's someone else's baby, though. I've tried. Believe me, I've chased that high. What is this? Future Watch Arturi Lekkonen. Why, why is this different looking than the other ones? Jafer and your Canadians. It's been a weird night. Isn't that weird? Man, I want to do a case of ice. I really posted this just as a warm-up for a 10-box case of ice. I don't think you guys have it in you. We barely got this thing full. That's asking a lot to do another case of hockey. Maybe if Shooter or some big hockey guy showed up. You know, spaghetti. But it's kind of late now. <laughs> Dogs in digging holes. That's how my dad communicates, or communicated. He had, he can't just say what it is. It's always like some riddle that we have to figure out, or that's how it used to be anyway. I don't know. I don't know about now. But. All right, needles out. My dad would say something, and then I would have to figure out what that meant. It's almost like translating. Sometimes it could be fun though. Clean dog paw. I do like the smell of vanilla. Like vanilla, a light vanilla, I don't know, any, whatever, body stuff, soap, a little candle. Vanilla is delicious. That's about it. Yeah. Just a very light. Lavender. Lavender's okay. It's kind of strong. Lilac bushes. I'm not sure. Probably. I'd have to go outside to know that.
sandalwood. I'm not sure about sandalwood. I gotta check out lilac. I can't place the smell right now. <laughs> Cinnamon? Uh, Martin, somebody from the Hurricanes. Nikas, Nisos, Nisos, I don't know. What is that quote? Cinnamon at Christmas time. I like the smell of whatever they put in turkey stuffing. What is that stuff? It's the same thing that's in that Italian beef, Jules. Oh, Italian beef. We're not, are we going to be able to have Italian beef out there in Cleveland? No. Probably not, huh? God, whatever that is, it's best. Is it Sage? Logan Brown, level two. God, I love that that smell and taste. Just reminds me of Thanksgiving. Victor Met for the Canadians to nine ninety nine. Or Bob Tyson. Huh. Huh. Guess it's Seinfeld. What the heck are the Panthers autos? Is there Italian beef in Cleveland? Ian McCoshin. Hey, look, it's the Panthers. El Nino. The most powerful of all the storms. All the tropical storms. All tropical storms bow to El Nino. All of the other tropical storms bow to me. Eric Stahl. I want to do an ice break, but I don't know. Do you think that would fill, Tim? I, I mean, it's cheaper. It's like 36 a spot or something. And it rules, but... I don't know. We only have 25 people viewing, and it's getting later by the minute. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We can do it any time. <laughs> yes, I had a Nina. Tim, you should watch that Dana Carvey show documentary on Hulu if you have it. It's good. Richard be in. Anyone who else is in for a nice is Hippie gonna be able to get in, Mississippi? Or did you guys go to bed already? I know, actually it did take a while. I think it's 36 a spot for, for a 10 box. Meanwhile, we still have eight box, nine boxes left of this. So this is halfway point right here. Josh, I was saying level two. And Jordan Schmaltz for the Blues. Ziggy.
Um, how many autos are on ice? Is it two? Is it two or three? Or two and a relic? I can't remember. Ice rules. It's a lot faster than this. It's quick. It's kind of a quick break. Yeah, that's probably less about Ohio and more about your speeding. I've never gotten a speeding ticket either. We've talked about that before. I have no nothing. Well, I got one ticket for looking at my phone when I was at a stop. And the motorcycle cop came over and was like, I was right by you, you didn't even notice me, and he gave me a stupid ticket. And I was like, cool, just whatever. He wanted to lecture me for an hour, and I was like, just give me the ticket. I'll pay the ticket. Leave me alone. You got me. Look, you got me. I'll pay the damn thing. Just stop talking to me. How much, officer, how much can I pay? I'll pay extra on this ticket for you to stop talking to me. Debrusque to 999 Future Watch. Isn't that an okay one? Oh, and then I almost killed Omni and I when I was driving home from downtown. Omni probably thinks I'm the worst driver on earth. Other than that, totally normal, fine driver. Never had an accident or a ticket. Just a quick brush with death one time when Omni was in the car with me. But we lived. Zykoff for the Hurricanes to 999. Uh, Luongo Spectrum. stopped me from I just was changing lanes and I thought I looked and there was no one to the right of me it must have been right in my blind spot also I had a six foot ten 300 pounds of pure muscle uh, Wisconsinite sitting in the passenger side so really I couldn't see anything out of that side of the car but he saw it just in time for us to not die in a fiery crash I wish you were there, Jules. He was like, he said it in the most calm way. I was like, probably, I don't know, two seconds away from us dying. And he was like, there's someone next to you. There's a car in the lane that you're turning into. Like just the most calm. If you if you don't reverse course on your current action, we'll both be dead in a matter of seconds like that. Totally calm. No, he didn't even... It's cool as a cucumber. 
no, we do need Omni at the National. Well, I need someone to wait for me for several hours while I take a nap in the hotel room. It makes me feel more important. He's also good at that. He'll sacrifice his own happiness just to make you feel like an important person. What a good friend. <clears throat> Adam Henrique. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what he was doing. You can't just guard the door. It's too late at that point. You have to guard the whole lobby, Brian. Once they get in. There's an Upper Deck exclusive to 100, Peter Morazic. If you're guarding the door, it's too late. Man, the National is only 61 days away, Jules. Oh, I can't wait to get on a bunch of airplanes. Anders Bjork. Effects level 2. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Matthew Kachuk, sign of the times. Calgary, Jules. Yay. Doc, I don't know what either of those things mean. Tanner Fritz. I assume those are people. Oh, coming to America. We come into America. Remember when Rasmus came to America? Oh, that's fun. Gesundheit. El Nino. Oh, I haven't had the Cajun fries. Cage Thompson for the blues to nine ninety nine. Ziggy. Where is Ziggy? What the heck is Ziggy doing? Okay. There's not one really close to me. Andre Fleury. What the heck am I going to do tomorrow? I got the whole day off to myself. I think I told you guys my wife's taking the kids to Six Flags. I have nothing. What am I going to do tomorrow? What should I do, Jules? I mean, it is going to be 99 degrees, so I was thinking there would be at least two or three hours of just laying on a, my pizza raft on the pool and doing nothing. Listen to some music. I think about getting really sunburned. I could go to five. Five Guys is like 20 minutes away from me. Maybe 25 minutes. Should I still do it? Is it worth it? Star. On a Sunday, I'll go pick up some 2011 Stars and Stripes baseball. No, I'm not going to go visit my parents. I would love to see my mom, but it's like two hours away. There's four hours of my day killed of driving on my one day off. I'm not doing that. Not gonna do it. Well done, Cajun. Hmm.
Ugh. I don't know why I love breaking SP Authentic. It's, it takes forever, but it's... Every time I think about doing a case of SP Authentic, I'm excited. Makes no sense. I really love the Sign of the Times autos and the patch autos. Like, I ordered a bunch of this stuff. I didn't have to. Could have just not done it. But I love it. Makes no sense. No, I'm not listening to Kanye's new album. That won't be happening. Nothing there for me. James Neal. I don't even really know that it's bad or anything. I'm not saying I know it sucks. I just don't. I don't like that kind of music. Doesn't do anything for me. Sorry. There's a Nico level three. That's probably pretty good. New Jersey. Tim. What does a Nico level three future watch uh, spectrum go for? Just want to know. Is it worth anything? Just give me an idea. <laughs> Wake up at 6. I'll definitely be waking up at 6 because that's what I do. Travis Boyd, Young Guns. Really? $50? Awesome. Connor Sheary. Is that a penguin? It is a penguin. Well, that's exciting, Tim. I mean, you know, not as exciting as your blue Otani earlier, but... Jeez. $50 non-auto? Pretty friggin' good. SP Authentic rules. Aside from the cup, I don't think there's anything better than SP Authentic for hockey. It's the best. Mitch Marner. I guess I should be sleeving and top loading. Are all of these worth uh, something? Like, are the vet guys like that worth like a dollar? I don't know what these are worth. What about Anders Bjork level two? Josh Osage level two. These are probably all pretty good. I don't know Logan Brown. Hold on. Carter Rowney, Walmart level one. I gotta look all these up and see. The vets, I'm guessing, are nothing. Sabres? No, they've been removed. Jesper Bratt for the Devils to $9.99. Yeah, I know threes. Threes are the most rare, but... I mean, are they like 5 and $10 cards? And the bounty, yeah. I think Emily knows to sleeve and top load those. I better check. Vili Huso, didn't we already have him? Maybe not. Also, how is it that Upper Deck's able to do a, an 18 or a 16 box master case and we don't get seven of autographs of the same guy? How, how come they can do it? You notice that? They're pretty good about their collation, aren't they? Maybe we get some doubles, but for the most part, it seems pretty good. It's not so hard. Tanner Fritz. Half <laughs> cup of ice. Pretty good, Tim. <laughs> uh, 
upper deck on their shoestring budget is able to collate a thousand times better than the tops and panini somehow. Well, how is that possible? Philip Scheidel for the Rangers. Holy Scheidel. Ziggy. I guess the shark signed Kane to a long-term deal, huh? Dwayne Gretzky short print. I'm kind of surprised we haven't gotten one Gretzky yet out of any of the authentic. <clears throat> Sebastian Aho. Gotten number one pick stupid also anything yet? Vancouver. He needs a besser. Travis Boyd. Jules, I kinda wanna drive to like uh Oh, where could I drive that would have a billion new Poke stops for me so I could just jump a couple levels? San Jose, it's too far away. <laughs> Who's nets off? I don't think we've had a single Rod Langway. So, expect one any minute. Now you gotta go somewhere real cityish. Care dials for the ducks. Richie. I mean, I could. A hundred stops is five hundred thousand experience. That's like half a level, isn't it? Eh, maybe not quite now. <laughs> Six flags. I don't think I didn't consider that for a minute until I realized you can get all the stops and six flags and then you're done. John Gillies. Okay, now there's a bunch of dupes. Jules Dos Gillies. If I was a real man, I'll tell you what I would do tomorrow. I'd get all my fishing stuff, my fly fishing rig and my regular fishing rig, hop into my brand new truck that I never bought because I'm too lazy. I don't want to spend any money. And i just go fishing all day by myself. That's what I should be doing. Why am I not doing that? Uh, Six Flags is in Vallejo, I think. Trucks and fishing jewels, it's fun. How far away is Vallejo? Uh, hour and two hours? Saltwater, there's no saltwater. Well, I guess San Francisco. Clayton Keller, freshwater. I like just fishing for trout. I love putting on some waders or getting my uh, float tube 
up in the, the mountains. And just, I don't even care if I catch anything. It's just sit around, stand in the stream. It's so fun. Hey, Rich knows. That's the only time I really, really feel relaxed. Just, just a, a little babbling brook. The sound of a little river, a little stream, or being out on a little lake by yourself on a little float tube. No one around, no one can bother you. Just the sounds of nature. Maybe you catch a fish and you eat them. Mm. It's the best. Rick Nash, I need to go camping. Jack Eichel. Bass fishing? I haven't really gotten into that. <laughs> I go to a restaurant. You can hear the sounds of the cooks in the kitchen and people dropping dishes, customers complaining. All the background noise that Brian loves. Maybe an occasional bathroom flush. sound of your server lighting up a cigarette outside. Ender Kane. <laughs> the clang of the dishes. The old men sexually assaulting or not seg saying sexually suggestive things to younger servers. It's the kind of background noise. JT Comfort in 999. That's where Brian feels at home. <clears throat> Roman Yossi sign of the times. Nashville Predators. T Dwag. Walleye or perch? Yeah, I don't know anything about walleye. Josh Hosang for the Islanders. Serio Six. I always like saying Serio Six's name. It just rolls off the tongue. Serio Six. I don't know the story behind that name. Oh, I just knocked a bunch of bass over. Hold on. <clears throat> crappy. Aren't crappy and... That they're like so small you can't even get any meat off of them. Are there big crappies? Mm, crappy. Mmm, crappy. <laughs> what have you been catching? Eh, crappy. Wait to sit down and eat me some crappy. <laughs> Ziggy's got the right idea. Oh yeah, crappie. Why don't they just call it crappie? I mean, the... Uh, Oh yeah, bluegill. I caught a zillion bluegill in my day. My young boys, young boy days, we used to have a little pond with a bluegill. They'll eat, they'll bite anything. Oh, 
Oh, Logan Couture, Sign of the Times. That's awesome. Ziggy in my face. Yes, I'm doing hockey at friggin' midnight, CJ. When can I when can I hide and do hockey with some hockey people? Never. The baseball purists show up and complain, no matter what. No matter what time. Jeez. We gotta do it on a leap year on like a February thirty first or whatever. Thirtieth. Is there a thirty first or is it just thirty? 29. 29 and 30. Gonna start a whole new company. Cardsmith's Hockey Breaks. Different channel, different website. I'll wear a mustache and glasses. No, I'm not. I hate Bowman. I'm sick. Okay, there I said it. I hate it. I'm sick of it. I don't want to do any more Bowman. Bowman, God. Bowman, 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 Monday Bowman, Tuesday Bowman, Wednesday Bowman, Thursday Bowman, Friday Bowman, Saturday Bowman, Sunday Bowman, Monday Bowman. God. Tired of it. I'm biting the hand that feeds me. I know. <laughs> mm, I love contenders football. Dubnik. No, I'm just joking. I, I still love Bowman. You know I'm not serious. Nothing beats opening day of Bowman, Bowman Draft, Bowman Chrome. It's the best. I'm a little burnt out on Bowman right now because of we're kind of having to do the same stuff over and over again. But when we get the new Bowman Chrome and new Bowman Tech, new Bowman's Best, and then new Bowman Draft, it's fun. It's just it's a little stale right now for me, that's all. Plus, I just don't like having to charge this billion dollars for Bowman 18. <laughs> uh, Cam Atkinson. Good jackets. Watson's cards. Every time a Bowman release comes out, I have to, like, fist fight people to get cases to sell. It's just... It's become a totally different thing. I don't know how to explain it. Robert Hag for the Flyers to $9.99. Again, back in the old days, it used to be... However much Bowman we wanted to do, I would just order that much, and we just the price would pretty much stay the same. Maybe go up a little bit. We would have our fill, and then uh, we'd have it for mixers for forever. Just buy it, and buy some more whatever I wanted. Now I ask for a certain amount and I get like a third of that and I get all these BS excuses as to why I can't get what I used to get a Bowman. Oh, well, there was a fire in our warehouse and we lost like most of the Bowman and then um, uh, it, the uh, there was someone who uh, was a Make-A-Wish and they needed 20 cases of Bowman so we gave that to them and then what's left for you is um, basically nothing. And then I'm on the phone every day, all day, trying to secure more Bowman. It's just, it's, it got ruined. It used to be fun. Yeah. Right, and all the work I did breaking and shipping all the Bowman to you guys. If I had those cases now, I could retire. I'd be a multi-millionaire. Oh, well. At least we had fun, right? When are we gonna get an autograph one of these? They do exist. We had some last year. I 
I can't complain. Everything is great. I have a great life. My best friend Jules. I think I'm still married and I have some kids probably, most likely. I'll check later today. Found WWE this year. Changed my life. Most hilarious, entertaining thing discovered in years. Got another Best Bro Omni who came out to visit. That was a blast. It's been a great year. I can't complain. Kopitar. Your girlfriend's obsessed with WWE? Awesome. What a cool chick. Jules, did you see that my wife outed me as WWE watcher on Facebook? To my family? That was not cool. I had to pretend like I didn't know what she was talking about. No, not the stunt dad thing. My wife is watching that British baking show. <laughs> Ziggy. And she like posted something about a baking show, blah, blah, blah. And then my mom was like, oh, you guys watching that? And she goes, no, Sam just watches WWE every night. I can't get him to watch it. And I said, what the heck is WWE? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've been watching American Pickers. Carrie Price. No, no, I'm not slandering the Great British Baking Show or whatever it's called. I hear it's great. Everyone loves it. I just don't want to watch it. Yeah, I like the two dorks buying signs. Oh, I don't like the two dorks buying signs. I like the stuff they buy. What the heck? This is like a double pack. Whoa, cool. Let's see how far down the wormhole we can get here. Maybe there's like a lost Wayne Gretzky PSA 10. No, it's nothing. It's just some kind of double pack. Anyway. Uh, Hapala. What you watch? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Air pack. Tim Heed. Heed. Hey, it's inscribed for the sharks. Ziggy. Cry himself to sleep on his giant pillow. Light a match. Easiest 500 ever. Honey, you'll never believe it. I sold something for $500 today. It was a double pack. One of the rarest things in our hobby. Oh, that's nice. I'm watching the British Baking Show. Brandon Lemieux to nine ninety nine. <laughs> oh god that's weird Jules that ran through my mind and then I thought I wouldn't say that to everybody and then you said it to everybody yeah the pool party was great Well, you guys didn't 
You guys didn't hear the pool party? It's not, there's not much to say. It's just that I was told that there was going to be a pool party that I could avoid until like three o'clock. And then my wife invited more kids than were even over before, right when the first pool party people left. So we had an all day pool party. All right, two boxes left. Come on, we got to get a Besser. T Van P. But it's okay, because she put LOL on the end of the message she sent me to tell me that we're having a double pool party. Kind of like when I told you guys about complaining about the breaks. All you got to do is put an LOL at the end, and then it's fine. <laughs> we all have a good laugh. Uh, I'm having more people coming over and ruin your, ruin your entire day, LOL. Jeff Glass. Phil Kessel, Spectrum. Jaden Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you. <laughs> Turning into a sleepover. There's no beds left for you, LOL. All right, I could just sleep here. I don't have a cot out here, but I'm close. No Hanson. Well, we're stuck at a solid 25. No one's dropped off. Well, maybe some people have dropped off and some new people have come on. Oh, yeah, Terry? Dang. Sorry to hear that. As for me, I got the whole damn day to myself. Eight beers. I've been trying not to drink. I haven't had anything to drink since uh, Sunday. This is a terrible idea. Mike Vescioni for the Flyers. Tim. We were barbecuing by the pool a lot, and I just kept having beer after beer. I'm like, I should probably stop doing that every day. Oh, God. Remember when you guys used to tease me about having another kid and you thought I was going to have another kid, Jules? Not happening. I told you that's not happening. Oh, God. I can't even imagine. I don't think I could do it. I'm actually afraid for myself that I would just leave. Like, I might leave. I might just get in my car and <laughs> just drive away and never come back. I know it would be horrible. I know it's like the worst thing a dad could do. A, a man, a father. Nothing worse than that, but I don't know if I could do it. I really don't know if I'd have a choice. Yamamoto to $9.99. I only have two kids, but Kyler Yamamoto. Uh, Barbashev. No, I can never do that. I'd probably have to take my son with me. I take one. Connor Sheary. That one's inscribed too. Two time SC champ. Penguins had some good stuff. I know. Omni and I have the bachelor life. So we've only had one patch auto. Is there one per inner? Do we have another patch auto somewhere? The next box in a tent?
remember I was talking to my doctor one time and I was like, yeah, it's just tough having the kid. Kids and everything have a hard time with these. Like, are you thinking of leaving? And I was like, wait, is that an option? I never really had considered that. The way he asked me, like, it was like, people do that. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I could do that. Never really thought about it before. Had never really entered my mind until you mentioned it. How <laughs> would having someone get started on something like that? I'm just saying that because it's funny because for it's it's funny to me because like apparently people I mean it's terrible, it's sad, but people do that. It's crazy. People just a lot of all over the country, all over the world I guess. They're just like, no, nah, I can't I'm out of here. They just leave their family. Can you imagine doing that? It's so weird. It happens enough to where a person would ask you if you're thinking of doing that. Like it's a thing. It'd be like if you were like, yeah, my neck, uh, just, I, doctor, my neck's kind of sore. And he's like, are you considering cutting your head off? So that's what it was. That's what it sounded like to me. I was like, what? No. I'm not considering leaving. Just was wanting to complain for a second. David can't. Weird. <laughs> Provorov. No, I wasn't going to cut my head off. My neck just hurts a little bit. Jeez. Doc. Not Doc in the chat. I mean, like, you know, the doc, the imaginary doctor I'm talking to. Ekman Larson. <laughs> oh, what is this? Nico Young Guns Acetate. Sweet. I forgot that those were in here. We haven't had one for a while. Tim, you devils. Tim, you devil, you. Rasmus is here. Yeah, that card rules. Forsbacher Carlson. <laughs> Hell is sweet. But we still need a patch auto. Where's the other patch auto? You're not off the hook yet, SP Authentic. Give us our second patch auto. Boston Matthews. What are we breaking after this? I forgot. What is the... What are the or the surefire, sure fill. Is it a 300? Wow, Tim. Crushing it on hockey. I'm telling you, SP Authentic is the best. I love it. I love it. I love it. I know, sorry. Chat's been depressing. Here it is. It's Robert Hag. To a hundred patch auto. I'm trying to be funny. I'm not really trying to be depressing. Sorry, it's 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 too dark humor. Uh, Guarnoff for the stars to nine ninety nine. Look at that hag. <laughs> Value mixer.
<sighs> Last pack of the break. Thanks for filling the full case of SP Authentic. I really enjoy breaking it. As you can tell by the positive stories and chat and topics we talked about, clearly puts me in a really good mood. I have no idea how I would post a Greatest Hits multi-sport mixer. Otherwise, yeah, totally. Oh, Tim likes dark humor. It was too dark, though, Tim. I'm not leaving my family. I love my kids. I just don't like noise, that's all. You should have seen old Nolan and me on that Nolan and I on that uh, trip to L.A. I had a, the best time ever. It was awesome. I love that guy. I would kill for my son. And I would I would lightly injure somebody for my daughter. That's how much I love those kids. I would give a stern talking to someone for my daughter if I had to. All right, we had two patch autos. Robert Hag to 100. And Ryan Kessler, Limited Auto Materials. Look at this. <laughs> Nico Young Guns Acetate. No, my daughter's awesome. She's just too much like me, that's all. Have to bat. We battle a lot. It's too freaking smart. Smarter than me. Like me, only smart. Um, all right, let's go over all the zillion autographs. Look at this, Sidney Crosby. Did you miss this earlier? The first hit. Connor Sheary to 50, two time Sports Center champ. Warnom to 999. Uh, Yamamoto. A Shiani. Brendan Lemieux. Tim Heed. Heed to 999. Inscribed. Robert Hag. Oh, there's Robert Hag again. Cam Atkinson. Uh, Logan Couture, my personal favorite. Josh Hosang. I think we had two Sangs. Roman Yossi, Sign of the Times. Confer, Future Watch. John Gillies. Yeah. Uh, Kerdiles for the Ducks. Philip Scheidel to 9.99. Billy Huso. Connor Sheary. Tage Thompson, Matthew Kachuk, Zykoff, Schmaltz, McCoshin, Victor Met, Lekkonen, Gunsel, Gensel Limited, Gensel, Gunsel, uh, McCown, Nathan Walker, Amadio, Clayton Keller. Samuel Girard, maybe. Alex Tuck. Peter Schlereck. That has a... Did I say it wrong? Schlereck? To 9.99. Riley Barber and Nikita Sherback. There weren't that many duplicates, really, for that many billions of autographs. Also, Nico Future Watch, level 3. Mrazic Exclusives to 100. Jake DeBresk to 9.99. Logan Brown. Martin Nikonisas. Capo Bianco, Jesper Bratt. <clears throat> Earbuds. <laughs> no one was a squealer. Yeah, he was. Here's the other uh, uh, spectrums. Level ones. John Gillies. There's a level two. Logan Brown, Josh Hosang, Anders Bjork, and then Barbashev, Hapla. Man, I love SP Authentic. It's up there with one of my favorite products of all the different sports. It's just awesome. Clean on-card autos. The Future Watch is a bomb. Patch autos are awesome. Oh, uh, here's the... Uh, here's the Brock Besser. Those are the throwbacky ones. 